Today we will create this cool gallery effect. Um, what you see right here is a repeater with a lot of images and you can see that when I'm hovering a specific image or a specific item, the item is getting bigger and push all the others of elements and also I can uh, horizontal scroll to see more content. Uh, this is also working great on mobile, you can see, but because we don't have hover on mobile, we can have click on mobile. So it will work exactly the same. All right, so we will see how to create it. This is my editor. We will create everything from scratch in a new section. We won't recreate exactly the same style but only the functionality so you can recreate it yourself and also i will provide a template so you can simply download it and use it um, as you want so what do we need the first action that we need to do is a repeater and because we talked about that we need the, the options to um, scroll horizontally if we have a lot of content um, so we will change the preset to slider right now we don't have any horizontal scroll it's basically it's because we have three items and it, they are fit inside the boundaries of the repeater but if i'll add another item so now you can see that we have inner scroll all right so let's select the repeater and let's set its width to be 90% just for now. Now let's take um, an item and we are going to change its width um, to be something like 10 viewport width, which is a responsive unit. If I'll change my screen width, you can see that it's growing as scaling, which is basically what we want. You can also use pixels of course because if uh, even the items uh, will be uh, too much so we will have here a slider but for this example I'm using viewport width as each item width now in my original um, ex example I've used only image inside each item so this item uh, contain only images but because you potentially wants to add more elements inside so um, i think the best way to do it is to wrap everything inside a container so let's um, add a container first of all let's give this rep repeater a name so let's call it gallery repeater now this container will be the content wrapper okay um, so this content wrapper let's change its color just for 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 the example it, it's going to contain elements whatever you like to put inside for this example we will uh, put an image inside this container and the image width and height should be uh, for this example to fill the entire container so you can we we can use stretched or we can set the width and height as 100 percentage all right so this container is going to be inside the item so i'm dragging to uh, to any item and then i'll set it with its width to 100 percent and it minimum height also to a hundred percentage now it looks like the image is change its width so let's set it to be uh, let's stretch it like this all right so we have a repeater we have item and we have the con content that is inside each item now let's try to animate uh, each item when i'm hovering 
over it, it should be bigger or wider. So, of course, I've already created the, the code. It's much more simple than you think. Um, but I want to, um, uh, to do everything with you so you will understand every line of code. So we will do it together from scratch. So this is the code that already working. I will push it down and we will create it from scratch. So this is the piece of code that is important. So here we have a class. So this class is supposed to direct, a, direct the effect to specific element. Um, so I will give I will give a different class because I don't want to reuse exactly the same class. So let's give it a um, scale repeater width. Okay. So this is like the main class, and this class should be applied to the section or to any parent element of the container. So let's select the class and set this class to the section. And of course, it's important to add note that this section has CSS on it. All right. Now, let's comment out the unnecessary effects that we have right now. So, as you can see, we re refer to the section class and then we need to refer to the, uh, to the card. So card is a class that we are going to give for each item. But because this, is, because this is a repeater, if I'll give this card class to this item, basically it will be applied to each item, as you can see right here. So what this line says. So basically, we are, we are setting that if we are going to change something in this item in this card this um, change will should take half of a second you can change it to any number you like and then when we are hovering this card we we want to change the width of this card from 10 vw to 13 vw okay and this change should take half of a second so let's let's see if it's working so previewing the site and as you can see it's working but something is not working right so two things in in the live example you can see that uh, let's take this woman uh, image so you can see that the face is ki it's kind of uh, uh, cut it's not like the image is smaller um, and when we are hovering we're basically revealing the the, re the rest of the image okay just like this one but here in practice the image is stretched so it's always I mean when when it's small it's become smaller so the trick is that we need to set the content container width not to be a hundred percent but to be as the size that we want it to be when we are hovering so basically 3 v uh, 13 vw so let's change it from a hundred percent to vw let's set it to 30 okay so now everything is look kind of off right because the content is bigger than the parent which is the item and basically everything is overlapping so to avoid it we will take the item and set the overflow to be hidden okay now another thing that we can we can see that the container is stuck to the left and maybe maybe this is uh, good enough for you okay but if not it, maybe you want it to be at the center 
so all we need to do is to align it to center and now everything is centered to the the item um, okay we always need to check that we don't have um, extra height from the row so let's change it to fr this is important to be minimum height because of the image we want it if if this not exist it will become zero um, so we do need it all right again uh, the same for the item i don't like the the height is coming from the row i prefer to set it to to come from here this is more visible for me i can change it to one fr like this and everything is, looks exactly the same so right now each item width is 10 is 10 uh 10 vw and 300 pixels uh, now let's see if we are getting the reveal animation so when we are hovering you can see you can clearly see that more of the image is exposed of course you can change this value to any value that you like for example to 50 but then we should change the content container width to 50 all right so now you can see that each item will grow a lot like 50 percent of the screen and the content will be revealed um, accordingly all right um, now in my example i've added another filter which is grayscale so let's comment this line out so we have here brightness of 50 percent and grayscale of one which basically it's removed all the colors from the image or any content that is inside the container and when we are hovering we are setting um, we are changing the filter the brightness to be one the grayscale to be one and if I'll put zero, it means that we don't have grayscale. So if the image is black and white, when we are hovering, it become colored. And here I am adding a bit of con contrast just to, you don't really need to do it. Uh, so you can see that all the images are black and white. When we are hovering an image, it become colored. Okay, this is not, this, this effect is not exist here. It's just an extra. Um, also, potentially, you can also animate the, the height, not only the width, just for you to, um, uh, to know. Uh, but I won't show it right now. So let's think about... Uh, first of all, let's add uh, a lot of more items. So let's go to the item and duplicate it a lot of times. I want to have overflow now let's publish it and see the live example and then we will talk about the focus within all right so this is our example you can see that oh it's grow 50 i forgot to change it but also i can scroll inside and everything will be working as expected great now what is this focus within so this is for accessibility for example if you will have here um, if this image will have a link to somewhere to inner page or to, to any any place or that you will have a button inside just for example I know it's ugly um, let's remove the filter um it should become yeah so if you have an inter any interactive elements inside your repeater item you want to be able that the effect will be applied um when you are using tab navigation or, sc or screen reader so this one basically it says if you are hovering the item or 
you have focus within any elements inside this card that is getting focused okay so let's see the live example so this is the hover effect as you know but when i'm tab navigate navigating you can see that this button is getting focused and the the effect is applied also which is very good uh, to accessibility as you can see i'm using only my keyboard to navigate between the item the items and everything is working as expected all right um i think that's it oh let's talk about mobile just for for a second this is kind of important so this is a general uh settings it will work for for uh, mobile tablet and desktop but what if we want to have different behavior for tablet and mobile so i won't talk about tablet i i'll talk about mobile but this is exactly the same so for example our mobile is let's check is between 320 and 750 so let's set max width of 750 pixels this is the range for mobile so basically we copied these lines and set different behavior so here um, in mobile i want each item when you are click or hovering basically we don't have hover on mobile uh, it will become 70 uh, percent of the screen width not 40 or 50 so what we need to do let's go to mobile now i can change each item to be different width as as i like let's say 25 percent okay something like this uh, let's make it a bit bigger okay seven, 70 how is it how much 25 percent of the total screen width and let's set the gaps a bit uh 10 pixels okay something like this but um but now i set the content to grow to 70 percent of the viewport width so what i need to do i need to go to the content and change it to 70 to be able to see the all the content now if i'll preview my site i will get i will get a different behavior for mobile so you can see right now this is 70 percent and if i'll change it for example to um 90 so let's change the content width also to 90 Uh, I think it will work only on the live set because it's actually getting the oh no this I did a mistake I didn't use this class so let's copy this class I need to update this one all right so let's anyway publish it and see the live site all right we need the mobile version so you can see right now that this is 90 percent so i can still scroll in mobile it won't work on hover only on when you tap on it um, so you can see that we are getting different behavior on different screen sizes all right so that was it um i'll give you a template for you to play around with it and until next time, keep building amazing websites on Week Studio.